I have been away for a while. I've been engulfed with a project and I'm really glad to be back. So glad that I thought I would dress fancy for you. <laughs> okay, so this was actually my mom's years ago. Obviously you can tell it's very 80s, but she recently gave it to me and I love it. It's kind of funny because at the time I remember seeing her wear it and being like, ooh, and thinking it was so cool. And then years went by and I was like, oh, I don't like that style. And now I'm all about it. Anyways, let's get to today's video or the point of today's video is I thought I would repaint my Graham sewing table. Now, yes, this is a very old machine and in, in its original table. However, it was very, very dinged up. I mean, she used this a lot and it was very worse for wear. When I got it years ago, after she passed, um, I kind of slapped on just whatever paint that I had at the time. And I did use it a little bit, but primarily it was the top was flipped over, the machine was put away and it didn't get much uh, use other than being more of like a display cabinet. Now I have gotten a brand new belt for it and I'm really excited to have it and my treadle machine. So I want to give it a new life. I want to make it pretty. I don't want it to be, you know, the surface is now horrendously dinged and scratched. And now the painted surface is also dinged and scratched because for several years, when I lived out of state, it was stored in my family's garage. So it needs to be revitalized, I think. I think it would be better that it is given just a complete facelift. And, you know, it itself, I think it's uh, 1948, I think, if I remember, that they had done these machines for their anniversary. Anyway, I'm not sure at all that. I'm not um, a machine expert, but the finish of it, a lot of the finish has worn off. So it's not like a priceless antique. To me, it's more sentimental and I'm thrilled that it works and I can use it and enjoy it. So for now, what I really want to do is, hello, make it pretty, make it uh, something that will go with my decor. And I thought I would share that with you. So what I have is obviously a brush. I have this paint that is, um, the company is called Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Tea Rose. So that's the company. I got it at a local antique mall and it, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna show it, but it is the perfect, like dirty, faded vintage paint color that is exactly what I wanted. I was thinking I was gonna have to, oh, okay. I thought I was gonna have to make this color, like stress it with, I don't know, waxes or something like that uh, to give it that aged look. But this color is just, it's perfect. So that's gonna be the paint color, kind of close to what I'm wearing actually. <laughs> and then I wanted to kind of, zhuzh up these drawers. Um, I'll show you a better look at the whole cabinet, but I wanted to do something with these because these handles are not like ornate and kind of pretty. So I wanted to make the drawers pretty and to kind of go along with my decor that I have. So I got these rub-on decals and I'm super excited to do these. Like, I don't know if any of you had things like this. I think they used to come with like, um, kind of like activity books, coloring books when I was young. And anything that was like, oh, those little watercolor, color, the color change stuff when my son was young or sticker books or these rub-ons, I always loved this kind of stuff. So I'm super excited. And I think that these are so pretty. So I'm super excited to incorporate these into the final look. So yeah, very excited. 
so and it comes with a stick <laughs> I guess they didn't think that you have anything to rub them on so they give you a stick um yeah I'm okay <laughs> so I'm really excited for this project and I think it's going to be pretty quick I've obviously got to change because this is not painting a tire but I think I will show you a better view of the cabinet itself for the before and then we'll get to doing it okay so this is giving you kind of an understanding of what I was dealing with before I painted it and there was even more scratches and dings on this um, that you kind of can't see right now but it it wasn't something that um if this was a, more of a fancier design I would have wanted to strip it and in the future because I'm doing this with chalk paint I totally can if I just decide one day that I just want to redo the finish I totally can do that it's not that I'm painting it and I can never restore it I can and again this was not like um because the finish on the machine has uh, come off then it's not like a priceless antique so that I'm ruining something but anyway I believe in enjoying your stuff I'm not all about um, having things just because of monetary value so this is the before and it does have three drawers and it has you know the ability obviously to fold up on each side and the machine can go inside the cabinet but I had not painted the surface originally because I thought well I'm going to do work up here so I didn't want to have any paint or whatever but now I think just to make it a nicer surface because this wood does tend to kind of rub off like um even though it's been super cleaned and I've oiled it it does still tend to kind of rub off um, dirt like it looks like dirt like if you have fabric on it so I really don't want that I just want a nice clean surface and a fresh start and I'm thinking of the drawers um, I don't even really have sewing stuff per se in here I have like beads I have some of the original bobbins here and then I have a bunch of buttons hello Oh, bless you and then yeah there's just kind of stuff I need to organize this too. my iPhone box it's not sewing related but I'm going to be lining these drawers with some vintage wallpaper that I have just to freshen them up as well and then these handles actually come off so I was thinking that I would change the handles into something prettier, but then this doesn't come off. So it would be something different down the side. And I don't know, I might do that, but I'm just thinking just for continuity, I'm just gonna apply the rose decals and then I'll put the handles back and maybe I will, I don't know, maybe I'll gild them I haven't quite decided on that yet but that's the gist of it so that's the before and I am super excited Deep are, you, are you excited you gonna think about it okay you can relax while I'm waiting also I am gonna be redoing this stool because the I realized once I was so excited to buy it uh I think I paid like $3.99 for this $3.95 I was so excited because it's really a vintage piece and it just looks so great with the sewing table but the padding over the years has you're literally sitting on wood now he doesn't mind it because he just thinks he's hot stuff to jump on anything of mine but it needs to be redone so I am going to be taking this off and cleaning the fabric and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the same thing but that's going to be another project first we're going to tackle the table
So that's the redo. It wasn't the most complicated project. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was really simple because this chalk paint just took two quick coats, dried really fast, and then I was actually able to rub on the decals. And I put on a coat of a white wax. Um, I'll list the brand down below. I just found it was so easy. I just brushed it on, left it overnight, and the next day I just polished it. And now the paint, the chalk paint, and the decals, everything's so super smooth. So maybe you have a piece of furniture, especially something sewing related that you'd like to redo. And maybe before you thought, oh, I can't paint that because it's too precious. Oh, now I have to replace a light bulb. <laughs> um, but maybe you'd like to do a redo uh, on something that you have in your sewing room or your bedroom or your living room or somewhere and just a little fresh coat of paint and some imagination, maybe a unique finish or some of these little decals can make it something that you love all over again. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, I also wanted to say... Oh, I also wanted to mention that this dress that I'm wearing that I absolutely love, I got this from the uh, shop of Inspired by Nikki. She has a beautiful YouTube channel that I, oh gosh, I just love sitting there with a cup of tea, watching her videos. It's such a pleasure. She is so inspiring in her own beautiful way. Um, so I just absolutely love her channel. And she has a web shop on Poshmark that um, I think I'm able to link to it, uh, where I got this beautiful dress. And I love the tears. I love the style of it. And I'm definitely gonna be buying some more from her shop. Um, also, she does beautiful watercolors, if you can see that, beautiful. And I had to frame it. It just made me so happy when I received it in my package. And also, she actually took time to calligraph my name on the thank you card. And I just thought that was the most beautiful touch. I had to frame it. I know I'm kind of really sentimental dorky, but it just made me so happy. And it was just the most perfect um, finishing touch in these thrifted frames that I found, these vintage frames. And I was just so happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I am going to be redoing this bench. It's so uncomfortable to sit on. It's like my bum is just sitting on wood right now. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have been inspired to redo something of your own, to look at it in a new, fresh way, and maybe give it a whole brand new look to go with your decor. And I hope that through this wonderful weekend that you also stay abundantly inspired. I love you. Bye-bye.